Many people find it hard to admit mistakes, and some even find it impossible. If we continue to deny the facts and admit when we're wrong, there's a word for it, it's a lie. It may seem simple, the word lie has so many shades and nuances to hide behind. In this video, Carol talks to us about identifying the lie and the process that leads to its revelation. Thanks for joining us. Today we're Hello. talking to Carol, and um, Carol's divorced, and um, I wanted to talk to her about lies, because obviously it plays, plays a great part in what she's going to share with us. What is a lie? I think a lie is a communication between people where someone holds something back, or tries to deceive, or tries to manipulate in some way. Um, for me, that is a lie. Okay, is there such a thing as a white lie? One that is not quite so dangerous? No, I think all, all lies are harmful. I really do. Um, um, especially when it is in a relationship um, where two people are relying on trusting each other in order to navigate life. Okay, so even so, if somebody is trying to spare you from some hurt that they know, um, but they don't want to implicate themselves in in something, y you think that it would be better to be hurt than not hurt by telling something which is not quite true then? Well, to me, if you're lying, what you're doing is the truth will come out. At some stage or other, the, the truth will come out. And if you have lied to somebody, that just compounds on the hurt that will come through in the end of the day. That's difficult because if somebody has lied to you and you discover it, does that mean that you can never trust that person ever again? I think what I'm saying is that if someone has lied to you and you've discovered it and they fess up to it and they actually have real remorse and they are authentic about their apology, I think you can really move on. Okay, so forgiveness is a big important part. Yeah, I think um, forgiveness is a really important part, but actually having integrity around the lie is a very important part as well. In Genesis we have the story of, of uh, the lie of the serpent to the woman, and that's at the beginning of the story. But the good news is, there's a revelation that Jesus Christ has come through and he has paid the price, he has forgiven, and there is redemption in the fact that revelation, which is to be revealed, so when a, when a lie comes out and is revealed, the revelation leads to healing, and I think that's really important. us a good look on how a lie actually masks itself, making it hard to see clearly, especially the white lie. Whilst having an air of cute and inoffensive, it can have devastating results. Note that Carol was willing to move forward and forgive, providing that integrity has been re-established through the truth. Next week we'll have Carol back as she talks about the consequences of the lie. Don't miss it. We'll see you then. God bless and bye for now.